Hey, hi guys, welcome to YouTube. So in this video, I will show you how you can create this cool traffic light animation by using C++ graphics. It's very easy. Let's start the video. Let's learn how we can create this. I will co cover everything, okay, in this video. So let's start. And sorry for the language. <laughs> Now let's start this. Uh, all the code is online available, so you can check out the uh, link. Link will be in the description. Okay, you can go there and download this code and can try on your computer systems. First step is let's remove all this code because we don't wanted this. We wanted to create this from scratch. First step is include all this code. First of all, include uh, ISO stream library and graphics.h library and add this main function. And inside this main function, we will write down our animation code. So first step will be we have to create window for uh, our animation or canvas. We are going to create the canvas. To create a canvas, we use a function which is called init window. If you don't know about all these functions, I have created video on it. You can check out my playlist link will be in description <laughs> now uh, define the width and the height for the canvas that's it our canvas is ready now the second step uh, will be we have to create the rectangle why we need to create the rectangle because this rectangle contains our signals which are in in circle okay in circle shape so first step is we have to create this rectangle to create a rectangle we use a Fun uh, function which is called rectangle of course and inside this rectangle we have to pass down four values which will uh, define position of uh, rectangle how you can basically you know find out the position of rectangle it's very easy i have created video video on it what do you have to do the first value you know it's for the left side so from left side to the this first line okay this this one from here to here check out the x axis distance and this will be the value for the first uh, parameter and for second parameter it's from top so go from top to this line and the distance will be the value and it's same case for this line and this line but instead of coming from this side we go from here to here and for this distance, we go from here top to bottom to get these values. So uh, whenever you create these graphics, I will suggest you use paint, uh, which has values on X axis and y, y axis. Here you can see I have enabled scale and I can see all the uh, X and Y axis value. So and to enable the scale, go to view in case of uh, paint and check check this uh, rural, rural box and grid line box if you wanted and that's it so i already have the values for the rectangle so i will just write down these values i will not find out <laughs> otherwise it, it, this video is going to take a lot of time i will just put the values and the rectangle is created let's see let's execute this code and here you can see it's created it's created but it's uh, hidden when we execute this so we have to hold this uh, output to hold this output we use get ch uh, function and also use close graph function to hold that rectangle so compile and execute and here you can see we have created this huge box we don't want it to create this huge box okay i have written down wrong value here and now once again uh, compile and execute and there you go we have created this rectangle and now next step will be we have to put uh, the circles inside this rectangle so let's make the circles to create the circle we use fun function which is called circle of course and inside the circle we have to write down the values first three values uh, so first value is for x-axis and the second value is for the of course y-axis and the last value is for the radius and i have a typo mistake here let's let me do correction and the circle is ready compile and execute and that's it we have created the circle but we need two more circles for the yellow and green signal 
I will just copy paste this and compile and execute. And here you can see we have the three circles, but all the circles are overlapping each other. To solve this problem, what we are going to do, we are going to change the uh, y axis value. So instead of uh, writing 100 uh, in all, I will uh, update these values. Incre I'm incrementing each circle by 100, 100 each time and compile and run. And there you can see the result we got the desired result now the next step is we have to create that animation let's write down the um, comment creating animation now I will write uh, create loop first first of all I will create loop I will run this loop 10 times that's that's it and inside the, these curly braces i will write down all these circle now first of all let's fill the color in this first circle we will fill a red color first of all <clears throat> so write down set fill style so, sorry for the typo mistakes actually my keyboard is not perfect and choose the color um, why I have written one here um, because the one represent solid pattern okay instead of one I can also write down solid pattern like this doesn't matter if you write one or solid my solid pattern okay for more you can check out my video I also have created video on this or articles now the next step is we have to write down flood fill because this will uh, stop our red color going outside uh, from the circle okay it will stop red color to go out from the circle write down 200 and thousand uh, sorry hundred and here i will write down white because i don't want it to exceed uh, white on border and I also need text above that red color so I will write down out text x y and inside this I will write down the x and y position for my text and comma and third parameter will be the of course text and default color for the text is white and write down delay here function it will take one second to get load let's compile and run this and there you can see the result it's totally red but not in the circle outside the circle now why is this because in flood fill there you can see we have written 200 value but in circle there is x value is 300 so it should be 300 here so compile and run now the color must be inside the circle now it is ready now let's do the same things for the um, green color just copy this code and paste it here and now just double time copy this set fill style and flood fill and paste it here why we need to do this because uh, now we want it to you know uh, change some uh, default values here i will write black and flood fill is white now and i wanted yellow color and the flood fill of course it will be the white actually what happening here it's uh, if that uh, what happening here basically in this code it's making uh, our red color black okay so when this code will be run our black color going to become red after one second let me sh oh, sorry the red color going to become a black after one second let me compile and run and there you can see after one second it became <laughs> directly become yellow it's because it's because uh, uh, positions for yellow colors are not changed so we have to change position for the yellow colors too so instead of you know uh, writing 100 here we will need to change this to 200 and in case of this we also need 200 now let's execute this and there you can see after one second it's like something like this it's very easy to achieve and now uh, let me compile and run 
Now here you can see uh, the red color is blinking. Uh, after one second it becoming black but in case of uh, um, what is it in yellow color case it's not becoming black because we didn't define black color for this so let's copy this whole code and let's define black color for our yellow color and of course for the black again positions will be changed it will have yellow color positions now and in case of uh, yellow we have to write down green and here oh, of course we have to change a uh, y-axis also it will be 300 now that's it and instead of stop it will say go for green and it will say hold for the yellow compile and execute and there you can see red and see here you can see but they, okay there is a problem in this text okay what what is this problem okay in case of uh, go we have to change 200 value to 300 so it will be nice now let's see then here you can see it's nice it's working properly but <laughs> the same case going uh, is happening to green color it's not changing to change this we have to make this uh, black also so just uh, copy that black code and uh, write down here and just change the position for it and now we have achieved our goal compile and run and there you can see we have achieved that animation it's very easy thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe if you have any question you can ask me in comment sections and you can also like my facebook and instagram page links will be in the description and code is also available online link will be in the description bye take care